Hey, this is Mikey Bora for PremiumBeat.com with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cool 3D file folder filled with good stuff and fun times. So now, it doesn't really matter what is inside of this folder. If you want to put, you know, bad stuff and horrible times in there, that's totally fine. Um, but what this tutorial is going to be about is how to create kind of a 3D movement like this and some tricks to kind of work when you're working with 3D comps and stuff like that. So let's just start with a new composition. And I'm going to call this file 1920 by 1080 and it doesn't need to be too long. I just have this at three seconds. Click OK. Now the first thing we want to do is build the folder. So I'm going to create a new solid. So layer, new, solid. Let's give it a width of 400 pixels by a height of 300. And let's pick a nice kind of brownish color. Click OK. And this is going to be the start of our folder. Now I need to come in here and I want to move the anchor point. So I'm going to come into the transform. I'm going to set that anchor point to 300 because that's how tall it was. And then I'm going to add an extra 150 pixels onto the position so that it ends up being in the same spot. Now this is going to be my front and my back to my folder. So let's just go ahead and name this back. Let's duplicate it. Call that one front. Now before I do anything to the front one, I want to pre-compose this. So Command Shift C will pre-compose. Let's call this front comp and let's leave the attributes. Click OK. So now what I want to do is I want to make these both 3D. Before I go any further, I'm going to go now into this front comp, double click on it, and I'm going to do some masking. I want to make this look like a folder. So I'm going to grab the pen tool and I'm going to just mask. See what that looks like. I don't need to be too perfect. Mask that off. And then let's just go in and instead of add, let's go to subtract. So then that's kind of what it's going to look like. I might come in here and fix this up just a tiny bit. That looks better. Now, I can do some fun things on here. I can label the front of this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my shape tool and just a white and I'm going to give it a nice sticker kind of a label. Just put that right there and let's grab our text tool. Label it. But that's not at all the right size and let's do like a handwriting font. Okay. So now let's go back into our file comp. And so this is what we look like now. Now in order to make this start to look like a file, let's do some rotation. So let's rotate on the X axis and you can see it's looking like a file. But we also have here is you can see on the back it shows the reverse, but it doesn't matter because we're not going to be opening it up that wide. But if you do want to fix that, let's come in here and then we turn these all 3D. Let's take this pale gray yellow solid and let's just put, you know, 0.01%. And I can go into this custom view and if I look at the back, it should be blank. Now when I come into here, this file view, if I come in and collapse transformations, then you can't see the back. You will also need to come in here and turn on motion blur on all this as well, if you're going to do it that way. So now let's add some lights to make this look and feel more like a folder. So I'm going to go to Layer, New, Light. Let's do just a point light. Click OK. And now when I, you can see there's a little bit more kind of a gradient to it. I can even come in and maybe bump that up a little bit. 
Let's see what that looks like. Looking pretty good. Now I also might want to take this back layer and hit R. Let's rotate it backwards a little bit. Now with this light here, this it's giving you know some good gradients to this to make it look like it's just not a flat color. And I can go ahead and now pre-compose these two together. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I have my shadow set up. So I'm going to hit AA, so double A, while I'm highlighting my light layer, and that's going to bring up this settings. And right here it says cast shadows is on, and that's good. I'm going to do the same thing inside of this front comp, because remember I was collapsed all the transforms, and it says cast shadows is off. So I need to turn that on. Let's go back in here, and now you can see a little bit of a shadow that's being casted. But it's not exactly how I want it, so I'm going to diffuse this and bring the darkness down. So just a little bit of a shadow. Let's go ahead and put a background on this before we get too far into this. Let's just do a new solid. Maybe make this white. Okay, so now we got ourselves a nice file folder. Now I'm going to take the front and the back and I'm going to pre compose them together. Click OK, and it flattened it, but that's OK because I'm going to turn it 3D and then hit this Collapse Transformations button, and it's going to bring it back the way it was. But what the advantage is, now it's in one composition. I can take this, and I can rotate this any which way I want to, and it acts as one whole unit. And if I want to, let's say I don't like the way the light is kind of, see how it kind of turns black there. There's a couple of things I can do. Let's go ahead and duplicate this light. And then let's parent just one of them to the composition. And let's move the whole thing around. And now let's parent the other one to the composition. Now what's going to happen is both those lights are going to be kind of spinning with the composition. See how that works? And you got kind of a set look on the gradient of the folder. So I'm going to come in here and I'll just let's scale up this folder. That's about better. Now I want to make this kind of fling in. So let's pick the point and where we want it to end and work backwards from there. So let's come forward to, I don't know, about 12 frames. And I'm going to take this. Let's just go into the transform. And we're going to be adjusting the rotation and the scale. Let's go backwards on the timeline, and let's start to change the rotation. Maybe it flings that way. And then let's bring the scale down. You can't bring it down to zero because these lights are connected. They're parented to it, and lights can't be at a scale of zero. So let's just bring it down as close as we can. So let's just go 0 0.01, and let's then go ahead and cut this at that point so we can't see anything. Let's cut the lights as well. So you can see they can, it kind of flings open. And maybe at this point we want it to be maybe about like that. And it comes forward. Maybe it's, it's rotating. And at this point, let's keyframe these positions as well. I'm going to copy these original keyframes. And let's just have it fling back down. So that's looking pretty cool. Now what we want to do is we want this folder to kind of flip open as it's flying up. So maybe at about right here, when it's almost to the end of the flip open animation, is when the folder starts to fold down. So I'm going to just double click. And that's a kind of a neat trick is if I double click on this composition, it's going to remember where my play hit is and it's going to match it. So at this point, let's go into the transform and we've got our X rotation set at 22 degrees. Let's set that at three degrees. Click keyframe, move forward five frames. Let's go down to, let's say 40 degrees. Move forward two frames. Let's go 38, 41, 
39 and 40. And what I'm doing here is I'm just making it, just give it a little bit of a kind of organic bounce to it. Let's go back into our file comp and let's see what that looks like. And maybe I want that to kind of flip open a little bit sooner. So at this point where it hits, maybe it's already down. So let's move these keyframes to about right there. Take a look at that. Move it one keyframe. Okay, I like that. And then we want it to pull back in as it flips back. So at this point, let's go in, let's keyframe the rotation, and let's bring it back in two, two degrees. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. Now let's make some stuff fly out. So let's go back into our pre-comp. This is the folder. We should give this a name. And we want some words to fly out of this as it opens up and then they suck back in as it closes. Now if you want to be able to see what's going on, and I don't have a camera in here so I, can't, I don't want to rotate anything, but if I switch from active camera view down to custom view, I can see kind of all the way around in a 3D view and I have the same camera controls as I do if I had a camera here. See, I can see this in 3D and it's not going to affect anything in my main composition. Let's go back to active camera though and let's have some words pop out. So, let's just bring some text in here. Uh, fun times pop out. Let's change the color. Let's add a stroke to it. Just a white stroke. And so this is where we're going to animate this. And so at this point right here, we want this to be flying out. Now since we put layer styles on this, we do need to pre-compose this. So Command Shift C and move all the attributes. And at this point, when this file opens up, that's when we want this fun times to be out. So we're gonna hit P on the keyboard. Let's make sure it's a 3D layer. Keyframe the position, bring it back down. And maybe the whole thing is it's just a tiny, tiny bit too big. Okay. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this anchor point. That's pretty good. Now I realized after I did this, I probably want to move my anchor point. So good thing I didn't go too far. So let's go ahead and delete those keyframes. And hit Y. I'm going to hit Y on the keyboard for my pan behind tool. And I want my anchor point to be right there right at the bottom of the of the layer of the words okay now let's go in keyframe this position let's have it down inside of the folder now what I want to do is I also want to keyframe the rotation so as this opens up I want this rotation to be tilted forward So, as you can see, it's tilted forward and it's and it's um, kind of sticking through the folder. So what I'm going to do is just at this point where it's not sticking through anymore, I'm going to cut this layer. So I just did Option or Alt on the keyboard and hit the left bracket, and it just cut it right there. And then as it pops up, I want this rotation back to be at zero, and then it looks like it's going to be kind of... Yeah, let's maybe move these keyframes out just a little bit. Let's have the whole thing start a little bit sooner. 
Okay, let's take a look at that. That looks pretty cool. Let's make sure we have motion blur set on this so it'll translate over into the main comp. Let's take a look at this. Okay, this is looking pretty cool. So let's go back in and before it closes up, we want these fun times to be over and back into the file. So again, let's keyframe position and rotation. So rotation down, position down as well. At this point, let's go ahead and stop the layer. Let's take a look at this full thing and see how it looks. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly render through this. So here's the finished look. This is a really easy look to do and the trick here is to pre-compose the two layers together into one 3D layer. Use the collapse transformation and then it's really easy to manipulate it to rotate it around to do some things like that. And also adding a little bit of organic movement, see how the it kind of bounced a little bit as it opened up. That's going to add a lot. And then the lights help create a nice kind of a gradient of color across the, the folder. So I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just put them down in the comments below. Also, if you are in need of some great stock music or some stock sound effects, go check out Premium Beat. They've got a really great selection and some really killer stuff. And be sure to check out their blog. It's filled with some great tips and tutorials just like this one you're watching right now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.